to be with you and welcome back to my channel for another video, another spiritual download. This is going to be the energy for Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. Capricorn, you're the first up. Capricorn, Capricorn. Divine ancestors only of the highest white light. Anything other than the highest white light, please close that door. Put a shield of protection around me and my Capricorns, my Tauruses, and my Virgos. If this is your first time here, I say hey, hi, and hello. I hope you've done your proper meditation. I hope you know what messages are for you because we operate in the spirit of truth, love, and light. So help us, God. We bind the spirit of confusion and anything that's trying to tamper with our energy. We return that back to the sender. Yeah, Capricorn, what's going on, Capricorn? You're trying to be strong about something, Capricorn. Yeah, some money. Cappy is always stressing about some money. Not stressing to the point where you broke, but it's like you work like you broke, Capricorn. You got a little money. You need to knock it off. January 4th, 9th, 11th, 12th, 15th, 16th, January, Cappy. And a little bit of December, too. I'm getting that late December, something around late December, 20. Fourth, yeah, the 30th, 31st, something around there. But anyway, Capricorn, show us what we need to see divine ancestors for Capricorn. Capricorn, Holy Spirit, divine ancestors, Archangel Michael, please help me to channel the messages for Capricorn. Yeah, Capricorn, January, heavy on that January. You might have Aquarius and Libra and Gemini highly aspected in your chart. You could be dealing with a... Uh, a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Or maybe this is just you embodying this energy. Yeah, I knew it. You walking the hell away from something. Somebody you had to cut the hell off. Let's get right into it. Boom, bam, hi, and hello. You're not playing. This is clear. Like, do I need to make this clear that you are leaving somebody behind? <laughs> Look at that. You cut that ass. You're cutting them off. You're out of here. You ain't got time. Goodbye. Good night, Irene. Sayonara, Arrivederci, Adios. You are leaving. You're not playing, Capricorn. Ooh, Knight of Swords. Okay. Yeah, you could have been dealing with a cancer. You could be. Yeah, what's going on? Let me see. Capricorn. Show me Capricorn. What's going on with Capricorn? Why are they walking? Yeah, this is so obvious. Like you are closing out a cycle and you're doing it ever so effortlessly and graceful. People are wondering if you're even in pain. <laughs> They're like, are you hurt about that? Like, is that bothering you? <laughs> Cappy. Oh, my Cappy. Y'all always get a bad rap because y'all the devil in the Zodiac. But really, you're a teacher, Cappy. Okay? It's not your fault. Yeah, you're going towards a new beginning. The, all these cards want to fall out. One card at a time, Spirit. Please, for Capricorn. <laughs> oh, Cappy, Cappy. Show me Capricorn. Yeah. You went through a serious spiritual awakening and an ascension. This was really tough for you, Cappy. You're working, toil and labor. One thing you didn't do, even walking away, going through whatever you're going through, is you did not stop working on whatever it is you were working on. We got the King of Wands and the Queen of Wands, divine soulmate, um, fire sign energy, period. Sagittarius, Aries, and Leo. Ooh, what's going on, Cappy? Yeah, you're coming out as yourself because you ain't like, playing. You're coming out as yourself, <laughs> Cappy. Cappy is like, I just hear you saying, uh-huh, yeah, keep that same energy. Keep that same energy. And you just, you, <laughs> you reversed it. Like, you just, like, you fed this person their energy. You could have been dealing with the fire sign. You could have been dealing with another Capricorn, uh, somebody that had fire highly aspect in their chart. Or a Scorpio. Yeah. November Scorpio. Ooh, I'm getting a few. I'm getting a few messages. Show me divine Capricorns. Yeah. Yeah. Heavy on the water sign. Heavy on the water. Water. Somebody you left behind. Who you leave? July Cancer? June Cancer. 24th. 25th or something in the 20s. Yeah, you sure did. You left that ass behind. This person is sick, busted, disgusted, throwing up, 
dizzy, confused, can't see, can't eat. Yeah, I bet. We don't want another reason why. We just want the message for Capricorn. Show me Capricorn, please, spirit. Yeah, you had a choice. You could be going towards your divine counterpart. It's a lot of fire here. Okay, this is definitely a December cap. Okay, January, you popped out. Okay, two stories going on here. The January Capricorn done walked away, cut everybody off. Whoever don't need this, serve them. Boom, you out of there. You're working. Boom, that's the end of your story. Bam, December Capricorn, you over here moving towards... You could have been dealing with another Capricorn or a Sagittarius or a fire sign heavy on the December, somebody in December, okay? January up here, sharp Aquarius energy, Libra, Gemini energy in your chart, but you're a January Cappy all day. Um, this, you, oh, let me see. Somebody was dealing with a water sign. Did you have two lovers, Cappy? Did you have two choices? <laughs> Yeesh, Cappy. Yeah, you had two freaking choices. Oh, my God. Yeah, you got two choices. You had two choices, got two choices. I don't know what happened. This is a whole nother Capricorn December. You just popped into the energy like this is my message. Okay, this is your message, okay? Whoa. I hear gatekeeper, Cappy. You're the gatekeeper. You can really wreak havoc on somebody's life depending on what their energy is. Like dead ass. A lot of December. Whew, I don't know what this was. Let me just see. Maybe this is your new beginning because it looks divine, but I'm curious. Show me what this Queen of Wands and King of Wands energy. Yeah, Spirit is saying, what I'm about to tell you is the truth. This is the truth. Yeah, this is the divine counterpart. This is another story, okay? Please keep up with me. Yeah. Knight of Wands, heavy on the Gemini. You had choices. You got choices, Cappy. This December Capricorn got some choices. Yeah. Somebody, somebody's holding on to their money, though. What's up with this December situation, Holy Spirit? Why is this here? Show us what we need to see. Two more cards for Capricorn. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you had a choice to make. Somebody was really trying to hold you back. Somebody could be going to jail behind trying to take your money or what the hell happened? Somebody in December, Sagittarius for sure. Or another Capricorn. Spirit is saying could be an Aries too involved. Yeah. You're looking at things from a different perspective. This is a completely different Capricorn. Okay, take what's on the board and leave the rest. Ooh, this is heavy. Okay, give me one more for Capricorn. What is it that you want Capricorn to know? This December, because the January Capricorn just look like they just, they good. <laughs> you, you walked away. You made a head over heart decision. You about your money. This person, whoever you walked away from, they're not even coming up in your reading. I don't even think they're in your mind, body, your spirit. I don't think you're thinking about them at all sucks for them they refuse to heal they refuse to heal it's really nothing else to say cappy january cap but this december cap you got a lot going on yeah baby you got money your intuition's on point you could be a practitioner heavy on the libra you might have had to go to court for something about some money yeah because look the king of cups and the queen of cups is here what the hell this this is a divine counterpart Maybe you're already with your divine counterpart. Maybe this is a completely different story from the first, Cappy. I don't know. Y'all tell me. It's some money involved, though. Something with some justice, a settlement, business, some money, paperwork, signatures. Yeah, you're the empress. Whatever it is, you're going to be victorious with this, okay? My December cap. One more. Yeah, somebody's in heavy regret behind something they did with your money trying to take your money let me see who is the person that tried to take capricorn's money somebody want to slow it down yeah somebody could be going to jail behind stealing your money the hell yeah sneaky and deceptive i can't make it up give me one more for cap i always say one more but i'm nosy Tell me more. 
Yeah, I told you, Aries involved. I told you. Didn't I say Aries? March Aries. A thief. Yeah, they're heartbroken. Something that you had in an agreement with them or something. But you're sitting pretty. It looks like you are with your divine match, though. Y'all going to be prosperous. Something you might have done in business that just wasn't a good deal. I always say read that fine print. But you learned your lesson. But you're coming out on top with your money. Yeah. You followed your intuition. Something told you something about something that was going on behind the scenes that you couldn't see. And you followed through with your intuition without having proof, physical proof. This is all spiritual intuition. You could have had a dream about this. Yeah, you're on a good end of karma. You're looking real good, December, whoever you are. The January cap is too. The January was like, ain't nothing else to my story. I walked away, cut that ass off, closed the cycle. Now I'm focused on what I'm working on. Boop. That's two separate cappy stories, okay? <laughs> That's your reading, Cappy, okay? On to Taurus, on to Taurus. If you guys want to keep track of the times and time stamp it or whatever you need to do in the comments, feel free to do that. I support you in that, okay? <laughs> I appreciate it. I really do. I love y'all. I love you, Cap. I love you, my Cappies. Show me Taurus. Holy Spirit, divine ancestors of the highest white light. Let me cleanse the energy real quick. Yeah. Show me Taurus. What's up with Taurus? Taurus. Taurus, are you getting over a sinus infection, Taurus? What the hell, Taurus? May Taurus, May 9th. What are you doing? You might need to change your diet. You know this. You've been really in like cuddle mode and, and eating comfort food. Okay. That's for one Taurus in particular. Overall energy for Taurus. Hi, Taurus. If this is your first time coming here, I say hey, hi, and hello. You're more than welcome to stay. Like, share, subscribe, dislike, share it with your family or friends. Don't share it. Whatever you feel your spirit is guiding you to do, I'm not here to control you. I support you in whatever you feel that you need to be authentic in, okay? You are sh you're shining, though. Good messages coming in about money, okay? Um, you're going through a spiritual awakening. That's where the sinus infection is coming from because your ancestors have warned you about dairy. Okay, Taurus, that's specific, very specific. Cross watcher. I feel like you got a cross watcher here that wants to know what's going on in your life. That's fine. Could be a Virgo. All right, let's go. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, I'm oh, just the messenger. Don't shoot me, Taurus. Divine ancestors of the highest white light, please protect me as I channel the highest white light for Taurus and messages the truth, the whole truth. So help us, God. I call upon my archangels Archangel Michael, Archangel Raphael. Show me, yeah, something's being illuminated. You're going towards wish fulfillment. You're definitely ascending. Happiness, joy, peace, money, stability. Show me what else I need to see for Taurus. Thank you, Taurus. Yeah, yeah. You could have to cut some people off in your family, though, Taurus, okay? Cut their ass off. Stop being so nice. I know you're the patient bull, but you've been far too patient. That lover, the one that wants to come back is an in and out energy. They're not trustworthy. They want to give you the D though, and maybe you'll let them come back and do that, but they're not the one, okay? They're very toxic. Toxic, demonic, D and V is very, very addictive, okay? Um, you could be, oh, Taurus, who is this? Okay, we got two stories here, okay? We got two Tauruses, ah, two Tauruses in the building, 10 of cups. Yeah, somebody in your family, you got to cut the hell off, period. Something's being illuminated about a family member. Yeah. Somebody you might have been um, giving to or just kind of, you know, you've been giving to. Balance is here. My eye is in the mother freaking building about to balance out these energies. Somebody wants it hard for you to move forward. You could be dealing with a cancer family member close to Leo, July 20th, 19th, something like that. You could be. Don't have to be. Um, if the story, the rest of the story resonates, don't obsess over the dates, okay? This Sometimes Spirit just gives me that so I can keep track of all the different Tauruses that I'm channeling, okay? Divine Ancestors, Arch... Okay, I told you, you're sitting pretty. Oh, I told you money is coming. Yeah, these family members are upset about it, okay? They might try to fight you in court. They could try to fight you in court over something. Yeah, watch your intake, Taurus, whoever you are. You've been kind of celebrating a little bit. Okay, a little sip, sip, a little drink, drink, a little doop, doop, a little whoop, whoop. Yeah. Yes. Justice is here for you, Taurus. Watch your tummy, left side. Mm 
Yeah, somebody is sneaky and deceptive in the family, okay? You could have to go to court about a house, inheritance, some money, investments. Spirit is saying, no, you don't have to go to court. This is spiritual court, okay? So you don't have to go to court in the physical realm. This is spiritual court being held for you to get this abundance, okay? You're, you're naturally wealthy. You could have royal bloodline, like royalty in your bloodline, like... Have you, have you thought about doing your genealogy or your family tree? Something like that to find out who you actually are? Show me more divine ancestors for Taurus. Taurus. Yeah, my beautiful Taurus. Yeah. Somebody wants to fight you over something that belongs to you that's rightfully yours. It could be a father figure. Could be somebody that you respect a lot. A father in June. June Cancer with some with some uh gemini in his chart he's very sharp but it's like he he wants to he wants to battle he wants to argue he wants to debate he wants to um he wants you to not feel like you don't need him this is an older male or older brother or uncle or somebody something to do with a house yeah this person is really controlling but i think you see that and I think you're getting all of your ducks in a row and you're just moving towards wish fulfillment. Yeah, you're out here shining, embodying the Queen of Wands energy, very sexy, looking good. You smell real good. You could wear Dolce & Gabbana blue. Yeah. Something that smells like flowers. Marc Jacobs, something like that. Body oils. Yeah, this is you, Taurus. You could be dealing with an Aries, okay? Um, King of Pentacles, Page of Cups, good money coming in about a child. Maybe a child of yours is getting extra income, child support, something that you were waiting for. Yeah. Mm, heavy on the heavy on the uh June Cancer though. You're manifesting, Taurus. Spirit is saying stay positive. Yeah, you're manifesting. absolutely are heavy on the cancer though okay um let me pull one more card and see what spirit wants you to do divine answers what do you want this tort okay well there you go spirit says you're going to be victorious in getting the house whatever you're fighting over with family injustice legal paperwork something you're going to get it okay spirit is saying make sure you take a look at everything that you sign do not sign in haste take your time taurus patience you're embodying a really beautiful, calm energy, though. You could be changing your skin regimen or sleep regimen or something like that. But yeah, that's your reading, Taurus. Love you. Timestamp it. Put it in the comments. Whoever wants to do that, I appreciate you. I do. I thank you. Um, sometimes I just need to get the message out. I'm like, okay, I need to get, you know, get more into the details and timestamps and all that good stuff. And I will moving forward. However, I have to get these messages out. All right. On to Virgo, Virgo. Oh, Taurus, wherever you are on the planet, I love you. I promise I do. I love you for free. Show me Virgo, Holy Spirit. Virgo, somebody is, what the hell is going on, Virgo? Oh, Lord. Oh, I'm getting September, Virgo, and August. Y'all both coming in strong with high Leo in your chart. Heavy, heavy Leo in your chart, Virgo. I'm hearing smile now, cry later. Steady and slow wins the race, Virgo. Don't overthink it. Some things you want to happen right at this time, but you have to be patient, okay? Period. Oh, yeah, temperance and balance. Protect your energy. Somebody is spying on you, Virgo. Could be a Pisces. Uh, February Pisces, yeah, they're spying on you. Is it a sister or auntie? Family members. Maybe you have new love. Something's going on. You're holding really tight to your money for something that you're waiting on. What's going on, Virgo? Let's see. Divine Ancestors, Archangel Michael, Messengers of the Most High. Show me what it is I need to see, please, for my beautiful Virgo. What is it that you want Virgo to know? Expose the situation to us, please. Put a shield of protection around us. As I channel this energy for my Virgos. <laughs> I can't make it up. You're coming out as yourself. They did this because for some reason, you've had an issue with trying to figure out what's what and what's true and what's not. 
So spirit made you come out in the tarot so that you know, get prepared. This is about you, Virgo. You came out as yourself. Okay, you ain't got to go around town trying to get different messages to see who's telling you the truth. The truth is right here. I'm about to give you the truth. Are you ready for it? Are you sitting down? Will you sit down? Get up. You got some water? Drink it. If you don't, burp. Whatever you feel you got to do, get you a snack. Whoo! But don't make it late to this reading. Karma is here. You're coming out as yourself, Virgo. You could be sleeping a lot. You could be resting a lot. Not because you're sick. Not because you're dying. You're going through an ascension. Welcome to your ascension. Choices. This is about choices. Different paths, different lifestyle choices, diet, sexual decisions, sexual, uh, not sexual decisions, sexual partners. Yeah. Mm. Show me, Virgo. Show me, Virgo, Holy Spirit. Show me the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth. What do you want, Virgo, to know? Virgo is looking for answers. Yeah. Yeah. You could be fighting with somebody in court, a legal, a legal situation that you're really tired of dealing with. You're ready for it to be done with. Like it's really making you tired. Yeah. Something is a slow, slow moving energy. I don't know if it's this court case or something in court. I don't know what this is, but you put a depth to the situation. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. A friend, a friend, an advisor, somebody that's an advisor, that's a Scorpio, that is, that's pretty much uh, told you something that is coming true. Yeah. And you're really thinking about it now. Huh. You're going to get the victory in this court situation. So why are you, what are you sad about? What are you worried about? Why is the five of swords here, divine ancestors? Yeah, you're working. You're overworked, Virgo. If you have vacation time, take a vacation. If you have vacation time, Virgo, again, take a vacation, please. You're highly spiritually protected. Maybe somebody's coming by your house to bother you. You got love here. You got a King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This person really cares for you deeply. Um, yeah, this right here represents blind justice for me. The truth, the truth, the whole truth. So help me God. The reason being is that um, whatever this court situation is, this represents somebody getting justice. As long as you're on the good end and you didn't do anything wrong and you're just, you know, moving about, which I feel like you're innocent because I feel like you're going to get the, the um, you're going to get the <clears throat> victory. The strength card is here. Um, you could be dealing with the Leo. Yeah. This person's working really hard to stop your fortune. Whatever that is, maybe it's with this new love. I don't know. Let's get into it. Um, show us the lovers, the king of wands. Why is this person working so hard? This could be... What the hell? Yeah, queen of wands. I can't make it up. A Leo. This person is doing something day and night, day and night to try to stop you from being with your divine counterpart. They could be just... Spirit says malicious gossip. Dragging your name through the mud. You know, you can mention that in court, right? That's defamation of character. You can't just go around talking about people. This person wants to hold you back from being with a king of wands. Maybe this is their ex. Oh, yeah. I think so. And the person came towards you. Show me more, divine ancestors. What about this? Because you're curious about this new relationship. This king of wands. Uh-huh. Clarify the King of Wands. Is that an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius? What is it that Virgo needs to know? Virgo wants some answers. Yeah. Okay. So you're hiding the fact. Yeah, you could still be friends with this person. You're hiding the fact, Virgo, and you're resting a lot, sleeping a lot, oversleeping. You might have taken time off to just rest. Okay. The person from your past, it's like you're hiding the fact that that's really who you want to be with. I don't even think you want the person that this person is trying to stop you from being with. I think they're in your life. Maybe you're being just like a really good friend to them. Um, but this person that you want is 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 um, from the past. Show me more about this person because this is what you want to know. It seems like, yeah, they're financially stable. They are your wish fulfillment. You have the choice between two lovers. Why? Because my 2-2 two -two is on the board. Okay, thank you. I knew I was picking up like different energies. I'm like, who is this? And what are they? And why she come out? What's going on? And what? Court. 
Slander, gossip, what? Money, huh? Virgo, you got a choice between two lovers. One from your present, one from your past. Which one are you going to choose? Then I tell you, you got options. I try to make this stuff up, y'all. But when the Holy Spirit is present, I can't lie. I can't because then I get my ass whooped. And I don't like it. I'm not afraid of you all. I'm afraid of the most high whooping that ass. Dragging that ass. <laughs> For not telling the truth when I knew I needed to tell the truth. Okay. Moving along. Ooh, this flopped out on my lap. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, you really stressed out about this. You got to break somebody's heart. One person is the better choice. You want the person from the past, but you want the person from the present too? Virgo. September Virgo. Yeah, you all September. Show me more. What's going on here? You, Hey, no judgment here. You got free will. You can do whatever it is that you feel your little virgin Virgo heart is telling you to do. My beautiful little virgin Virgo Tweety Bird. You could be seeing Tweety Birds. Yeah. King of Cups. Ooh, yeah. This person, whoever this fire sign is, they are deeply, madly in love with you. Like, can't stop thinking about you. They think you're a witch. <laughs> the star. This is your wish fulfillment. Aquarius energy. We're in the age of Aquarius. Yeah. But you're thinking about somebody from the past. This is, is this the new guy? Or who is this? Virgo? Lord have mercy. You're thinking heavily about somebody that you made a past investment with from the past. Yeah, this is heavy. Show me more. Okay, I hear you saying, who should you choose? I think you know who you want, Virgo. Virgo, you know you're stuck. Somebody got you stuck and it's weighing you down. You already know somebody's going to get heartbroken. One of these people are toxic. One of them just got good demonic D. Ooh. Ooh. Ah. You could be getting truth through a high priestess like myself and or you are the high priestess or I'm a high priestess and you're a high priestess and you getting advice from a high priestess. Yes, you are. Listen here, Virgo. This is starting to really stress you the hell out. You're going to have to make a decision. I hear tick tock, tick tock. The wheel is turning, the wheel is turning, and so is the clock. Yes. You got Aries here on the board. This is a king, an emperor, could be a business owner. Um, you're looking in a new direction. Maybe you want to move away, be with this person. Maybe they want to move away, move towards you. I don't know if you all stay close in proximity to one another or if you're just looking to move away to get a new beginning to get away from the ex, who is this one right here, the Leo. And I'm going to just be honest, a low vibrational Leo. No offense to my Leos, I love you, but this one is low vibrational. She's refusing to heal. Um, Capricorn energy, what's going on? Something, something is not being seen all the way. And this is what's bothering you. You could have a Scorpio that you're dealing with. Uh-huh, and a fire sign. Because Aries is heavy here on the board, okay? Fire came out twice when I asked about the lovers, okay? We know this is weighing you down, Virgo. Um, You could be overindulging, so be careful. Drinking, wine, something, I don't know. What is it that Virgo needs to see? Because I think you're you're the only one that can make this decision. I think you're coming for answers, but you're you're the only one that knows your life. What is this? This wanted to come out. Yeah, this person's coming in to give you a off a heavy on the heavy on the fire, man. Justice. Yeah, you could be waiting for this person to leave another relationship. Or maybe they just got out of a relationship, a divorce, or I don't know. But now they're coming towards you, but they really do care about you. You feel like they're moving fast, but they care about you. Whatever they're leaving, whoever she was, is it's just that their cycle and their time is up. There could be children involved. Yeah, they have had a lot of fighting between them, a lot of just toxic stuff. And your energy is completely different. Wow, Holy Spirit. Show me one more. Who should she choose? I mean, I don't know. It's definitely a feminine Virgo. They're saying the, the water sign. 
that that's a perfect divine match. This is definitely a third party situation. I don't know why not the 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 uh, fire sign. I don't know. Or maybe I'm just saying maybe I could be reading this energy to where this is a divine match. Spirit is saying you intuitively need to figure out who that is on your own and follow your intuition. You're giving off high priestess, empress vibes. It's something maybe you need to stop doing before you get with this person. Maybe one person caters to the woman that you're perceiving yourself to be or conceiving yourself to be or you're wanting to be or turning into. And then this past person, it's just very comfortable. It's easy to kind of be, you know, uh, who you are. But maybe they don't really like the fact that you've changed. Maybe they need you bound to who you were. Yeah, that's what I feel. Mm, it's a child involved. You're walking away. What the hell is going on, Virgo? The fire sign's completely obsessed with you. Okay, you got two fire signs, one water sign. Aries for sure in April. Something going on in March. I don't know who the Aries in March is. Definitely a December Sagittarius. Definitely a Scorpio. Okay. You got choices and you're stressed out and everybody wants you because you're the sweetie pie. You're so innocent. You're so sweet. But there's some things that like I said, I think you're realizing that all of these men cater to different parts of who you are. One is fits you and who you used to be. Heavy on the Leo. Heavy on the fire. Forget Leo. Leo is the old person that this guy left. But heavy on the fire, heavy on the water. Yeah, somebody's getting left out in the cold. Yeah. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. Yeah, somebody's going to get left on the cold because you're starting to follow your intuition. Either way, you're going to have the victory. You're guarded. You're protecting your space. You're resting and really going within. There's some things about you that you might need to change. And I don't know if um, one of them is requiring that you do that more than the other, like I said. But one of them is really obsessed with you. So please be careful with that. Please be careful with that. Okay. So, I love you, Virgo, wherever you are. This is your reading, Earth Signs. Wherever you are on the planet, I love you for free. I promise to God that I do. Until the next video, peace be with you.